Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will... The Netherlands against Germany. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Becker. Glad to be here Peter and I'm ready to rumble. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, I'm going to pick Mats Hummels. He's not simply a very dependable and, and diligent defender. He has real adventure about him as well and I think when he gets an opportunity to step out from the back He's encouraged to keep going, and, and he doesn't. He, uh, he goes all the way. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Now it's Muller. Muller was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Promes. A chance! Goal! The Netherlands! And it's the Netherlands who take the lead. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Germany didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? It's gone out for a throw-in. Lifting it over. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Muller. Tries a through ball. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right weight of pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it. And he was through. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Stefan de Vrij gets good distance on it. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Oh, great ball! Lovely feet. Shapes the shoots! They've done it! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. The Netherlands have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Fine Alden. Struppen does well to read it and intercepts. Promes. Now the pass. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Goretzka, that's surely a foul free kick. And he won't reach that. Hector. And it's Hector. Draxler. Keeper's got good distance on that. Jerome Boateng battles to win it back. Van Dijk. Promes passes it through. 
chance. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Goretzka with the ball through. Hector. Can he find a finish now? Fine, Eldon. And there's the end of the first half. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. Jerome Boateng is the guilty party there. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Now it's Drexler. Muller! That is gorgeous from Muller! The second half sparks straight into life. Well, no goalkeeper would keep that out. It really was a bullet. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. <laughs> Germany get themselves back into contention. A scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Royce. Wijnaldum to get it forward quickly he's found his man chance and he's on his way and that would have been some goal well, everything about that was perfect apart from the execution he could so easily have made them pay then oh he really wanted that well in all honesty he's tormented that defense they just can't handle him that's not the cross he had in mind. The Netherlands have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. And it's Muller. A chance! Muller. How about it? And that is doing no harm. Forward it goes. Looks like a good ball through. Fine Eldon. Looks to slip it through. Kibbick cuts it out. Tony Kroos pumps it upfield. Goretzka. Royce. Drexler, who does have an assist to his name. Matt into the last quarter of an hour. And that's a throw. Kibbick. Not much. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Now the pass. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. And the follow-up! He scored! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line! <laughs> Neuer reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, that's one of the first things you learn whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky and come your way. 
The Netherlands take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Looks to thread it through. Mats Hummels demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Royce. And it's Hector. Draxler. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. He's on the move, and he's going to have to go it alone. Wijnaldum tries a long pass towards the front. Tries a through ball. Done very well to intervene. Aimed long and direct. So that's it. It is all over. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Look, you've got to start every match with a certain level of focus and, and intensity because they just didn't manage that for this contest. I just think their focus was derailed by the early goal and they never looked like making a proper recovery. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.